Hey, Gary Baker here with 30minutemarketing.net. By the end of this quick video, you're going to understand the basic building blocks of a landing page inside of Groove Pages. So, as you can see, I'm inside of my Groove Pages site builder. Of course, this is my free account, so I have three sites that I can build. After that, you have to upgrade to Pro. If you don't have access to Groove Pages yet, there's a link in the description where you can get your free account and you can start building your sites for free. So what we're going to do here is we're just simply going to take a look at this by going and opening up a new site. If you start with the blank template, here's what's going to happen. You're going to open it up and you're literally going to have a blank template. So it looks a bit empty here. It appears your canvas is empty. Start by adding blocks to the canvas or create pages using full page templates. Now this is very important to understand. Start by adding blocks and blocks over here at the top. So you have to start with blocks. So they have design blocks here, which are blocks that are pre-built. For example, content blocks. If you scroll down here, you can see that these are pre-built content blocks ready for you to start building. Then they have wireframes over here, which are pre-designed. They're just a little different and smaller in the fact that they're alert bars. They're called actions, as you can see right there. But they're all still pre-built blocks ready for you to start building. But let's take a step back and let's understand what blocks are and how Groove Pages is building landing pages using their block based builder. And to do that, we're going to go back into Groove Pages by hitting exit and we're going to return to our sites. But this time, we're going to create a new site and we're going to select a template. Now, what this is going to let us do is once we select this template, it's going to let us understand the building blocks that build up a landing page inside of Groove Pages. So as you can see, when you hover over something, for example, this container or this logo, see how the green box has highlighted the element? So if you, to, if you were to click on that, then it opens up and it says image. If you go down here to the bottom, you'll see the breadcrumb, breadcrumb trail. It's Working from your way back to the beginning, you have an image, then you have a container. Again, you can see the green bar here changing. Then you have a block. You can, again, you can see the block changing. So what you're doing is you're building blocks or you're adding blocks and stacking blocks one on top of the other. And to keep moving along and show you exactly what's happening, this is the first block in the page. We'll close this so we get some more real estate. So you can see here the first block in the page. If you were to move your mouse down, you're going to see the second block, the green highlight, then you're going to see the third block right here. You highlight that block again, then you move into the elements. For example, you click on this image. Now the container is starting to look a little different, but it's still a container. It's still a block. So you have the image, which is this ebook image. Then you have the container, which is the container that holds the layout or the two by two which is an element and which is I'm going to show you right now so you can understand how to build these layouts inside of containers, inside of blocks, and start adding elements such as images. And to do that, I'm going to show you something that you might not have thought of, but you can go up here to the Groove Funnels icon, the Groove apps, and you can open a link in a new tab. And what that's going to do is let you go back into Groove Pages, into your site builder, and now you can open a new site and you can open up a new blank template. And here's the easiest way to understand the process is when you're looking at a blank canvas is to go back to the other tab and look at the example that they're, that they're giving you and walk through it. For example, we are inside of this container with a layout two by two inside of a container inside of a block. So to simply understand what this looks like, start with a block which looks similar to this block right here. We'll go ahead and close this mode out right here. So you want to start with a simple block. And you can see, if you look down at the breadcrumb trail, again, when I hover over that image without clicking, if I move my cursor along, you can see that the breadcrumb trail and the green highlighted box is changing. So what you want to do is you just want to follow that along. And then you want to go back to your blank canvas and build out this same building block. So we're going to start with a block in the middle of the empty page. So again, we'll go to that new tab with our empty canvas. And again, canvas is empty. Start by adding blocks to the canvas. So then we'll go over here and we'll grab a new block. 
And what we'll do is we'll just come down here to design blocks and we'll start with a simple content block just to get an idea and a feel for this and we'll drag that block over. Close this and get this out of the way for some real estate. Now you can see that we have, now you can see right here the green highlighted block and then inside of that block we have some text and a container. So if you go down here and scroll and you highlight over the container, you'll see it'll highlight the container. Now let's jump back and look at the two by two layout so we can understand what that is inside the container. So here again, we have the predefined template and it has what's called a layout two by two. So let me show you how to get this so you can get this very common two by two layout with an image and a text, text box and then your call to action and a button. So we go back to our blank template where we've added our content, our content block and our container. In this case, now we've already added a block, we wanna move into elements. And inside of elements, you're gonna see layout. And remember, we're looking at layout two by two and layout two by two is two columns. So now we can drag this element over, drop it off, inside our container, inside of our block. Now what we've done is we've added a layout two by two element inside of our container. And now what we can do is we can start adding more elements inside of this container. For example, to match the example we were looking at, we'll quickly go back, look at it. What we had here is we had an image and then we have a text box, we have a divider, and then we have some more text and then we have a button. So now we're gonna take those examples and we're gonna start adding in these elements into our container to get to the point where we wanna be where we're actually building our landing page. So we'll go back to our page that we're building from scratch. And here you can see we have the container. So now we just wanna continue along with elements. And inside of elements, we want to simply go down here and we want to find an image. And then we simply just drag that image into our container. Then in the other empty container, we want a submit button and we wanted some text. So we'll just go ahead and drag those over real quick. So we'll go ahead and we'll add an H1 text right here into that container. So that text is gonna be black. So we need to highlight that text right there as you can see it. Now, if we change the color, you'll be able to see it. By default, it used black text, which most page builders do, but it's easy enough to change. But now you can see it's coming along, right? So you have the basic building blocks. If we go back to our template, the image inside a container, inside a layout, two by two element, which is columns two by two. So you have two columns, a column with an image, a column with some text, a divider bar, a paragraph here, and a button. So again, we go back to where we were working in our blank, blank canvas. And what we built out is we have our image. And then again, go down and look at the breadcrumb trail. When you click on image, you'll be able to see the container so you have the image, then you have the container, and you can see the green highlight changing. Then you have the layout two by two column, and again, it changed. And you can see all the elements that we've added into our column. For example, if I click on the heading, now you'll see I'm back over in the right side of the layout two by two column inside a container inside the column. So that's simply what you wanna do is you want to step back, take some time and understand what it is you're building inside of the block-based builder that Groove Pages is. And the best way to do that is to open a blank site, open a template, click on each element, walk through each block, walk through each container, understand exactly by taking a look at the breadcrumbs down here that you have a block. So you have multiple blocks. And of course, even the bottom block, the footer is gonna be another block. It's layout one, which is gonna be one column inside of a container inside of a block. And again, so you have a block here, that's the footer block, then you have the content block, then you have this middle content block here, which has other elements in it inside a container, then you have the header block right here, and if you go over to blocks, so here you can see those content blocks, if you go over to wireframes, they have some more that are styled a little better. For example, if you were to go into covers, you can see that they've added different types and styles here. So you just sort of have to take some time, figure out exactly what it is you're looking for, 
try to use the templates to get started, get up and running quickly. And then as you get more familiar with everything that's inside here, then you can start dragging and dropping and customizing this very easily. As you can see right there, I just simply dragged in a new wireframe block. It has a headline, it has a button, it has a th layout three by three container right there, as you can see in the breadcrumb trail. So it gives you the ability to just drag and drop some templates that they've customized for you, they made easy, they gave you some nice templates. But again, the point is now I've added an additional block. So now I have added a block. So I have the first block, the second block, the third block. And as you can see on and on and on, it's a block based builder. These blocks just stack on top of each other. And then once you build the blocks and the containers, then you have access to your elements. And then once you have access to your elements, you come over here and then you can do the basic configurations where you can just change them or you can actually toggle the expert mode and then you can get into expert mode such as things like spacing where you can start adding padding and it gives you a little drag and drop here and as you can see things will start moving around and you can really get it customized and start looking the way you want it. So again open up that template, open up a blank canvas, start playing around, create your own thing, see how it works, see what it looks like. If you have any questions drop them in in the comments, I'll be sure to answer them. Don't forget, check out the description. If you don't already have access to group pages, go ahead, get your free account. Start with your three free sites. Give me a thumbs up if this video was helpful. 30 minute timer here on the end screen. Click that, subscribe to the channel. Check out the videos here on the end screen for more awesome content, just like this video, and I'll talk to you later. Bye.